Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to extract character assets, models and animations from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth using UModel and import them into Blender. Whether you're a model or just want to use these assets for your fan art, this guide has got you covered. Let's get started. First, you'll need UModel, also known as UE Viewer. It's a tool that lets us extract assets from Unreal Engine games. Download UModel master file from this GitHub page. I did put the link in the video description. Next, head over to this site and download the specific UModel build, made specifically for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. After downloading both files, first open the UE Viewer file and extract this folder to any location of your choice. Then open the second file and put this file into the folder you just extracted. Drag and drop it here. Alright, open the folder and find this file. Double click on it to open it. If you see a security warning, click more info and then run anyway, to proceed. This will bring up the setup menu, this menu. The first setup is to locate the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth installation directory, specifically the folder containing the end folder. Click on the browse option, navigate to that directory, and select the folder. Next, check this box. Then under engine version, Select Unreal Engine 4. For the specific version on this side, choose Unreal Engine 4.26, as that's the version the game uses. Leave all other settings at their default values and click OK. The program will begin loading, and once it's done, you'll see this package window. On the left side, you'll see the game asset directories. Close Engine and Plugins folder. The folder we need is End. Open it. Everything we need is inside this. Now open Content folder. As you can see, the folders are named specifically to correspond with the types of assets they contain inside them. For Character Models, Mesh Files and Textures, head to the Characters folder. Inside you'll find the several subfolders each identifying the characters they hold. For example, enemy is for enemy characters, and the player contains the player characters we control in the game. Let's open the player folder. Inside, you'll see even more subfolders identifying which specific player character the folder contains and which model or costume is this for. These are for Cloud. This is the main one. And these are his other skins. And these are for Tifa. This is the main one. Open it. Inside, you'll find the model folder that contains the mesh file. If you open this folder, you'll see all the files inside that folder listed on the right side. The one we need is the main one. It's identifiable by the file name structure. They look like this. Double click on it and your model will load it. A 3D viewer window will open, where you can see the model in full. Right click and move your mouse to rotate the camera and turn the view. Hold the mouse scroll wheel and move the mouse to move the camera left, right, up and down. Hold the left click and move your mouse forward and backward to zoom in and zoom out. To open the package menu again, go to File, Open Package. From here you can locate and select another character to load it into the 3D viewer. Animations are stored inside the Motion folder. Since we have a player model loaded in the 3D viewer, navigate to Motion, Player. Inside you'll find folders for different characters. For example, let's open Tifa's folder. Here you'll see multiple subfolders. Battle contains combat animations, emotions, expressions, events, 
Cutscenes animations, facial, face animations. Choose your folder. Then select an animation file from the list. After you select it, in the bottom section, click open. Then select the pan. This will load the animation onto your character. To switch between animation pose in new model, press bracket keys and press space to play the animation. You can also load multiple animations and switch between them one by one. Now, let's start exporting the assets. There are two ways to export them, from the package menu and from the 3D viewer. First, make sure the model or animation you want to export is loaded in the 3D viewer. Then go to the tools in the top bar and select export current object. A setting window will pop up where you can adjust the export options. Export path by default, it's set to U model directory. You can leave it as it is or choose a custom folder. Next, come to mesh export, set this to PSK and the other to PSKX. This is best for Blender. Now come to texture settings, change this to TGA for better texture quality. Finally click OK and the export process will begin. Once the export is complete, navigate to the export directory. By default, the files are saved in the UModel export folder. Inside, you'll see the same folder structure as in the package window. Open the character folder and navigate to the model folder. Inside, you'll find the mesh file. This is the one we can open in Blender. And the textures are located in the textures folder, saved as TGA files. And animation files are inside the motion folder, saved as PSA files, which can also be imported into Blender. Now, the second way to export files is directly from the package window. Locate the file you want to export. Right click on it and select export. This will export the file along with all its associated assets such as textures. They will export into the UModel export directory in the same format. Now that we know both exported methods and have the files, let's move on to importing them into Blender. Download Blender. I am using version 4, but other versions also work. Next, download PSA PSK import plugin. This is needed to import the files we exported from the UModel. Go to this GitHub page, link is in the video description. Scroll down and download the plugin that matches your Blender version. Make sure to get the version correct, or otherwise it won't work. Install and open Blender. After installing, launch Blender. Select General to start a new project. Select all default objects in the scene and press Delete to remove them. Switch to the modeling workspace and make sure you're in object mode. This is where we'll import the asset. First, we need to install the PSA PSK plugin. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. Click Install. Then locate the PSA plugin we just downloaded. Select it and click Install Add-on. Once installed, it should appear in the list. If you don't see it here, search its name. Check the box next to it to active the plugin. Then you can close the window. Now we are ready to import our models. Go to File, Import. Then look for Unreal PSK. This is it. Select it. Here, navigate to the directory where you export the model from UModel and select the PSK file. Before importing, adjust the scale option to 0.01. This ensures the model is properly sized in Blender. Leave the rest of the settings at their default values. Then click Import to load the model into Blender. Now your character model should appear in the viewport, ready for edit. From here, it's up to you. You can create mods for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth by editing the model, 
replace it with other game characters and create mods for them, or use it in your fan projects and other creative works. Since we have the textures, we can also apply them to our model. How to do that is a simple blender guide, you can find it on YouTube. The same goes for adding animations. There are plenty of guides for that too. And when the game fully supports modding, I will make a complete character modding guide. So subscribe to not miss it. Thanks for watching.